Okay, we already took a before picture of them too, so that's good. I'm gonna put a little nick in some of these. And your daughter, you said, used to take them out, and now you got us. Mm -hmm. You okay? Okay. If only, I think you don't. You feel it? I feel like you mostly have them in the center, maybe because the ones you can't reach. Is this my uh, oily skin? Yeah. 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 Did you have acne too mm -hmm. when you were a kid? Yeah. You have more um, acne prone or sebaceous oily skin. So. It was um, around when tetracycline was the thing to take. Yeah, well, that's still the thing to take. It's really? still what we have to take. Let's try to get you. Let's even get even closer. Let's try that. Let's see. Good. Good. Let's go. So we're just putting some pressure. If you need a little break, you let me know. I was saying I like to call these super comedones because they get they're like have multiple openings. And this is a cyst here on his side and a little bump, but we're gonna take off on a different day. But here we're gonna try to clean up some of these areas here. Some of my common extractors are getting a workout. They're like almost bending with my pressure. Is your is your daughter still around? Does she still live? Yes, she still you? lives. Oh. She's in her thirties now. I oh, mean, this I is see. like Yeah, of course, when you're a kid. Teenager, yeah. We have to ch ask her if she watches Dr. Pimple Popper. Maybe you can watch them together. I will tell her. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Pimple Popper? Yeah, Dr. Pimple Popper. Mm -hmm. And then she'll eventually see yours on there. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, they, they emit. Can I talk? Or yeah, yeah, they, absolutely. You can talk. They emit quite an odor, don't they? I mean, if you get close and you smell them, but mm -hmm. I mean, we don't really do that, you know? I mean, I think that they can't just like anything, like. I don't know, dirt under your nails could probably smell too, you know what I mean? Like That's the most embarrassing part to me. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's what most probably would prompt you to want to get rid of these because mm -hmm. you feel like people can smell them on you. Yeah, or if you like a, your skin. Yeah, or like a back massage even. Yeah. Maybe you'd feel self-conscious about that, I think, maybe. Mm -hmm. I could see well, that, you know, that could happen. We're going to Lake Powell in August. And ah. I don't want to take my shirt off. Got it. Thank goodness for rash guards these days then, that they're yeah. much more acceptable. Yeah. But yeah, let's see if we can't get you cleaned up so you can get your shirt off. Won't that be nice? Yeah. We'll see if we can get, when are you going mid-August? Late end of the month. Okay, maybe we can get you in before that then. Like, let's see if we can't get that cyst off of you. But I, you know, we're gone. We're, I don't know if Dr. Rivas told you, but mm -hmm. we're on a little vacation in oh, yeah. August. Okay. Like to the twelfth, so I don't know if we can get you in before. We'll try to see if we can. Pinch, you're not hurting you, right? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I think there's one underneath here. It's connecting the two. Almost like he's got little dilated pour of whiners, which are more like these big blackheads or cysts under the skin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's one she thing liked that one. The other. <laughs> They're really kind of a cross between these are cysts. Some of them are, are just plain, plain cysts that have multiple openings. So I don't know if I'd call it necessarily a blackhead. Okay. Let's see. Can I, let me open this one up here too again. Lake Powell, you know, I've wanted to go there. Yeah. I haven't. Is the water level okay right now? It's I actually, think it's up. Yeah. Really, that's good. It hasn't yeah. been. I feel like it hasn't been up for a long time. But the pictures are just gorgeous, yeah. you know. I think you you know. I do. We do. Mm -hmm. uh, that's who we're going with. Oh. They a house yeah, they do like plastic surgery studios, yeah, and they yeah. work at um. They they go they go to Red Hill. Yeah. Yeah, they go to Red Hill. Mm -hmm. I think we use them. I think don't they design websites? Yeah, they do. Yeah. I think they've done ours so. I'm sorry, That's I'll okay. stop that one there too. No, I'm just glad to get something done. Yeah, I know, that one we're pushing kind of, is this one hurt right here? Mm -mm. Oh, okay, it was on the side of it. I think it's, it's like we almost have the whole thing, but I think I'm gonna leave that. I think we got it all. Okay, let's get this one right here. We're almost done here, actually. There's a bigger one I got my, we're working our way down to. Some little ones here. That I don't think it'll hurt too much to Would push on them. Would it be good to get a little sun just to keep the skin, the oily skin off or not? Um, 
Not necessarily. I'll tell you why the sun tends to heal up acne or bumps, mm -hmm. rashes, mm -hmm. is because it's a slight anti-inflammatory. Oh. So it makes things less inflamed and red and irritated. And mm -hmm. so I just, it's just the problem is the risks is, are higher than the benefit, you know, uh -huh. that, um, you know, skin cancer and things like that and aging and stuff are not, sorry, I got it. I darted back there. I got to remember that so I don't make you go back and forth. See, I think I have a couple on the side and then that's it. Let's go over here. There's two right here. Good. And then one more right here. It's a good way to end. Let's see, I got two more right here. Good. And I think that's going to be it for now. I think we did pretty well on you. Okay. We got most of those out and we can take these little, this one right here and this other one right here at another time here. We'll set that up. Okay? Good. I like it.